Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of MedHead. How do you know which medical school is going to be best for you? How do you know where you're going to be the most happy? This criteria is not going to look the same for every pre-med student. I'm going to show you guys what to look for and how to make a list just like this. Make sure you guys stick to the end to see why I chose McGovern Medical School as my number one spot. This criteria is not in any order of importance. Like I said, for each student, it's going to look different. Number one, the atmosphere of the school. How are students at the school? Is it collaboration heavy? Are students vibing with each other there? Would you vibe with the students there? How are you doing today? Maybe if I look over here, it'll go away. Don't you just love this school? You know, make sure you look at if the students are genuinely happy about their school. I mean, you can honestly tell who's happy, who's kind of putting on face, just look for that. How big is the student body? You might want a big student body or a small one. I didn't mind. I came from a high school and a college with a bigger student body than my med student class, so it wasn't a big deal to me that my student body was one of the larger ones in Texas. How many organizations are at the school and what organizations are there? And also look at maybe how diverse the student body is. Wow, dog and human medical students here? Such diversity, man. Hey, how you doing? These are the things you want to put together when looking at the atmosphere of the school. The next is the medical school campus. How nice is it? Is it trash? I, I'm paying for this? Where are the flowers and flowing rivers of gold? How nice or new is the campus? How many study areas are there available where you could see yourself being productive and comfortable in? What am I going to eat for dinner tonight? Some pizza and some tiramisu. I can't believe people actually voluntarily skydive for fun. <sighs> How nice or new are the facilities like the labs, the libraries, or the mock clinics where you guys are going to see standardized patients? The next is what kind of resources is the school going to provide for you or require of you? Technology wise, can you use the laptop you already have or is the school going to provide you with iPads and laptops? What kind of learning tools will the school provide you with, such as third party board exam resources? Next is the med school curriculum. Are the exams in-house or board exam based? In-house based exams mean that the professor will write the test themselves and board based exams will basically mean that the exams are centered around some type of board certification exam like the NBME. Look at whether the curriculum is organ system based or subject or topic based. Organ system based basically means that you progress through the curriculum as if you're going organ by organ. So say that you start with cardiology, you'll learn all the biology, microbiology, and pathology of the heart before moving on to the next organ system, say the lungs, where you'll also learn the biochem, microbiology, pathology, etc of the lungs. So you go system by system. Topic or subject based basically means that you will learn all biochemistry of all systems of the body. So you'll start with biochem, learn the heart and lungs, kidneys, biochem of all those systems before you move on to the microbiology of all those systems. So make sure you pay attention to which type these schools have because it can make a big difference in how you're going to learn and study. Some schools like McGovern actually have a mix of the two. I mean, shouldn't do the mix thing? No. Some schools actually have a mix of the two where maybe during the first semester you're going to be doing topic or subject based and then the next semester and so on it's going to be organ system based. Make sure you guys are on the lookout for a later video on my more detailed schedule as a medical student. What kind of clinical rotations do they have for third and fourth year students? Are there any really cool electives or scholarly concentrations that interest you there? How are the match rates to the residencies for your specialties of interest at that school? What are the academic hospitals that you'll be doing rotations in like? Also, how long is the preclinical years versus your clinical rotation years? The next thing is grading system. Is it pass fail or does it even really matter to you? And you don't mind if it's on a honors or grading based system. And next is location. This was a big factor in me deciding on how happy I could be at a school. When you think about location, these things include things like how close to home are you and how far are you? Do you want to be close to your family or kind of really far from your family? Hello? Yeah, I'm liking Florida just fine. The med school here is great too. Wait, what? Oh, you're not moving to Florida. Like, you're not moving to Florida. If she's moving to Florida, I'm moving from Florida. Yup. 
I cannot believe just when I tried to get away and it's just oh god I gotta go I gotta go bye do you want to be close to your friends or your significant other or as far as way as possible? Hopefully the answer is not the latter. Are there any extreme weathers you'd rather avoid like straight up humidity or frigid winters? Do you hate or love cities in the many glorious long hours waiting on the highway in traffic? Here in Houston, I love them. Another is research. This kind of belongs under curriculum, but how much research is available at the school? Whether you want to do research because your residency of interest is really emphasizing that or you just really like research this is something to keep in mind if you don't care about research it's not a big factor for you and last but certainly not least cost this is last because it is one of the more obvious ones but obviously one of the most important ones and debt is nobody's friend at least not students friends and here's why mcgovern hit that number one spot for me when i visited on my interview day the students seemed genuinely happy and i saw collaboration in multiple areas i mean it wasn't like staged happiness like hi i'm a student ambassador and this school is the perfect school ever and you will never have any problems here ever because we are happy all the time and on several occasions, students have told me about how receptive the school is and how they try to constantly work and improve experiences for students at the school. McGovern is also a very large student body, one of the largest med student classes in Texas. And like I said before, I had a larger class size in high school and in college, and I didn't seem to really mind then, so I don't really care now. There's not really much of a medical school campus at McGovern, but it's for a good reason. You have a bunch of hospitals stacked around it. So if I'm not gonna have a campus, hopefully it's because I'm surrounded around a really big med center. As far as resources goes, McGovern provides students with lots of them, including like first aid and UWorld and other resources within their budget. I've heard multiple times that McGovern will listen to the student body and get feedback on which study tools that are the most efficient and the ones that they are going to use. And McGovern will try to find a place in their budget to give that to their students. So I think that's a plus for me. Curriculum at McGovern was a big factor for me. The grading system is going to be pass fail the first semester of your first year just to let students get acclimated and the next semester your first year and so on is going to be on the honors or grading based system that doesn't really bother me much because grades are just another motivator for me not the only motivator it should not be but it is a good way to hold me accountable the first semester is also going to be topic or subject based with the next semester and the rest following being organ system based and I really liked organ system based modules, so that was a big plus for me also. Though I do like organ system based, it wasn't a big deal to me that the first semester is not, and that it was more of a mix because largely the first semester is for everyone to get acclimated and on the same playing field. There are also a lot of research opportunities available for students and scholarly concentrations and programs available for students to take part in. Another big seller was location. Like I said, I am from Houston, the school's in Houston, my family's in Houston. It was important to me. Plus, McGovern is in the middle of the Texas Medical Center, which is basic, not basically, it is the largest medical center in the world. It is the largest. That means there's going to be a plethora of cases, unique situations, a lot of different medical fields, even the most obscure specialties. I won't really be limited. I'll be able to see the incredible spectrum that is medicine. Not to mention, McGovern is fairly, it's cheap. It's, McGovern is cheap. It's relatively cheap compared to other schools. A lot of the criteria I suggest that you look for in these schools can be found in the MSAR guide, the Medical School Admission Requirement Guide. You can buy that through the AAMC. I'll put a link down there and it is the guide I use when deciding which school is best for me. If you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy a video just like this one. If you found quality or value in this video, please do me a big favor and comment, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss future videos. And I will see you on the next MedHead. This is what kind of resource it, we, uh, can be found in the ASMR <laughs> ASMR M S A R <laughs>